So today I'm going to tell you uh, in deep uh, about the role of SIMA 3A in vivo uh, in uh, uh, regulating uh, tumor vessel normalization in a context of anti-tumor uh, therapy. I'm going to give you a very quick overview on uh, vessel normalization and on semaphores, even though I know that probably most of you know all this uh, concept from uh, the data of Mauro also. Uh, angiogenesis is a process that uh, more than 20 years ago has been uh, described as a process regulated by the balance in between inhibitors and, and uh, activators of angiogenesis. And the balance toward an increase of activators induces a more deregulated angiogenesis, in particular in cancer. And uh, uh, these are the uh, appearance of uh, tumor vasculature. You can see very chaotic and no structure uh, vessels compared to the normal vessels you can find the healthy tissue. And uh, uh, already have been described several mechanisms by which you have this kind of vessel abnormalization in tumors. Several oncogenes, inflammatory um, stimuli, and angiogenic factor can uh, use this vessel normalization. Usually, this vessel normalization in tumor is uh, linked to a more invasive and metastatic phenotype. One of the uh, point that this uh, abnormal vessel induces an increase of hypoxia and acidosis in tumor, and like a loop, uh, maintain this sort of abnormal phenotype in uh, tumors. And uh, uh, another important thing that these uh, um, vessels are abnormal and also they lack of parasites. The parasites have been shown to be a barrier that block the extravasation of uh, uh, tumor cells from the vessels uh, toward ve to form the metastasis in the distal organs. So, um, almost 10 years ago, uh, Rakesh Jain from the observation um, in USA, from observation preclinical clinical uh, trials, uh, he observed that uh, uh, using anti angiogenic drug uh, that block uh, angiogenic in tumor, he observed that this drug can induce a transient for a, a narrow period of time normalization, meaning uh, that after the treatment with an anti angiogenic compound, you have a more normal vessels, uh, are less branch, uh, more covered by parasites. And uh, he explained uh, uh, the mechanism just uh, that somehow you can uh, reestablish the, the imbalance of the deregulated angiogenesis. Somehow you can induce a more similar phenotype in the normal tissues compared to the tumors. And the, but the big, big problem uh, that uh, so far uh, this therapy, antigenic therapy, is not that efficient is for several reasons. One of the reasons that uh, it's very difficult to maintain uh, this normalization window. So the, the, to, to prolong uh, the time by which these uh, vessels are more normal uh, and therefore to reduce the metastatic phenotype the invasive phenotype in tumor. So, and um, my lab has been interested in this last year in characterize a new molecule that somehow can normalize, it can uh, extend this normalization window in tumor, somehow to find new target to improve the anti-angenic therapy uh, uh, to block tumor growth. And uh, uh, we are uh, being interested in basically in uh, semaphorins. Semaphorins are a class of uh, molecule that part of a base uh, um, axon gun rescue, a molecule that regulate uh, nervous system, but also be found expressed by endothelial cells. Uh, and lately been described that these axon gun rescues, in particular semaphorin, can modulate and regulate uh, physiological pathological angiogenesis. Uh, there are several class of uh, semaphorins. Class 3 semaphorins are semaphorins we are interested in in our soluble molecule that can transduce, transduce the signal uh, through a complex uh, receptor complex neuropeelings and plexins. For example, this is a, an example of uh, CIMA 3A that can, the, can act on endothelial cells that express neuropeeling and plexins. Uh, CIMA 3A by binding neuropeeling transduce the signal to plexins. And usually the signal of semaphorin 3A in vitro and then also observed in vivo, or in the cell is a negative uh, um, uh, signaling inducing a reduction or endothelial cell adhesion, migration, basically inhibiting integrin function. So uh, starting from this point, uh, we were interested to see uh, the functional contribution of class 3 semaphorins and other axon gland SQ in regulating tumor angiogenesis uh, in uh, mouse model of cancer. Uh, basically, what we uh, we took from uh, my uh, 
postdoc in states from that time, it is a RIPTEC mouse model. It's a mouse model of beta cell uh, insulinoma that develop a spontaneous tumor in a time frame of three months. And also what I develop in our, um, in our institute is uh, two other mouse models, uh, a mouse model of K14 HB16-induced um, carcinogenesis to the skin and the cervix. Uh, all these three mouse models, they develop tumor toward a specific um, um, neoplastic stages, but also are characterized by an angiogenic switch. Therefore, these models represent a suitable platform to study angiogenesis, but also to uh, test the efficacy of drugs can, can it be tumor or angiogenesis. So uh, to make a long uh, story short, um, we did a, a, a screening of the, all the genes and molecules spread, uh, axon gand SQ expressed during the step of tumorigenesis of this model. And what came out, that basically CIMA 3 a was the most modulated uh, semaphore. So it's an example of RIPTEC mice. These are um, insulin, uh, islet, um, islets, and these tumors. You can see the semaphorin, with the CIMA 3 is a marker for vessels. Semaphorin was expressed significantly in the normal islet, in the premalignan lesion, but then completely switch off in tumor. And the, uh, the main source, basically, of this uh, semaphore, uh, the semaphore tray is our vessels, but also inflammatory cells in some com compartment. So, uh, this, uh, to, in order to find a way to, to study the fun functional contribution of symmetry A, uh, in, uh, uh, in tumor angiogenesis in vivo, since uh, symmetry was lost in tumor, we found a way to re-express, to over-express symmetry in tumor. It is, in this way, just start our collaboration with Mauro, Mauro and Federica Maione in the audience. They develop a, a way to directly inject in the mesenteric artery this virus, carrying uh, 3A, symmetry A, or LAC-Z LAC -Z, uh, Z, uh, for um, control, to reach a high efficiency in the infection of a pancreas. And uh, in this way, we are able to perform uh, trials with these mice. In particular, uh, we perform regression trials. Regression trials and trials you can perform with these mice when you want to assess whether a compound is able to regress already formed tumor. So we um, overexpressed uh, using adenovirus 8 that specifically infect uh, pancreatic cells. So we infect the whole pancreas, but also tumors. And uh, uh, what we observed, that the overexpression symmetry was able to strongly reduce tumor, tumor volume, but more importantly, was able to prolong the survival as compared to control. Therefore, the re-expression of an angiogenic inhibitor um, is able to um, reduce tumor growth. But then most striking was we checked the vasculature. You can see here this a very chaotic uh, vas vessel network in control mice. But here you can see the, after the treatment with symmetry, we observe a very normalized phenotype, less branch, more linear vessels, and also more uh, covered by pericytes. This is a marker of pericyte NG2. This is a uh, vessel that are covered by pericytes as compared to control. As compared to uh, control. These are all markers of vessel normalization. So, um, in summary, uh, what we found that symmetry can be considered a new endogenous angiogenesis inhibitor uh, that, if uh, re-expressed in tumor, can uh, induce a vessel normalization at the same time to reduce uh, uh, tumor growth. What we found that this, uh, uh, the, the balance was reestablished uh, in, uh, in the context of tumor angiogenesis. And uh, basically what we also uh, described uh, a few years ago, that Symmetry was able to increase, to maintain, normalize in tumors uh, uh, the, the vessels. Uh, to uh, assess better the effect of, of semaphorins as a new, let's say, uh, anti-angiogenic target. Uh, probably you already know, but in the last year it's been described uh, in preclinical models, but also uh, in a clinical setting, how uh, can, uh, the anti-angiogenic drug can develop a resistance. Basically, uh, after a, a, a few weeks also of treatment with an anti-angiogenic compound, um, the tumor develop a resistance against this treatment. And, uh, uh, for example, be observing several mouse models how if you treat a, a tumor with a, a drug that inhibits angiogenesis, you have, uh, first of all, a shrinkage, a reduction of tumor volume. But then, later on, 
uh, you can see a more aggressive phenotype. Basically, all the tumor basically uh, undergoing a resistance and can uh, increase their invasiveness and also metastasis formation. Of course, this is a bad news for all the drugs that now are in the clinic, but these are kind of evidence that suggests that we have to improve the anti therapy because somehow can be, uh, in, can induce a more aggressive tumors. So basically what we ask is whether uh, Symmetry A, a single agent or combined with uh, the clinical proof uh, anti drug, uh, was able to overcome this resistance observed. And what we found, basically, uh, that uh, this was the case. We used uh, Reptec mice, as I showed you before, and then uh, we uh, performed several treatments. Uh, we used uh, uh, treated mice with CIMA 3A alone, or we combined CIMA 3A with uh, sunitinib. And you can see here, these are lymph node and liver metastasis. Uh, sunitinib, this uh, anti-angiogenic compound, dramatically increased lymph node metastasis and liver metastasis. But, uh, but uh, Symmetrae alone, a single uh, treatment, dramatically reduced also the lymph node metastasis and the liver metastasis. But again, uh, interestingly, when we combine uh, Symmetrae treatment with sunitinib, was strongly able to overcome this resistance, uh, reducing uh, the metastasis formation. And then, uh, interesting also what we observed, that Symmetra was able to synergize with sunitinib, with this drug, in prolonging the survival. Uh, this effect was, was observed also in another mouse model, the spontaneous mouse model of cervical cancer, and a very different tumor type, and we observed similar, um, similar effects. Uh, here are the uh, metastases in the liver and the lung. And you can see, as observed in RIPTEC mice, uh, sunitinib was able to increase uh, the uh, liver metastases and lung metastases, even though it, they were able to reduce the primary tumor volume. But, uh, but after uh, four weeks of treatment, we observed an increased metastasis formation after the treatment of sunitinib. And CIMA 3A alone, or combined, with this drug was able to uh, reduce dramatically uh, the, um, for the incidence and the number and volume of these uh, metastases. Uh, another, another example, Symmetry uh, A is able not only to, let's say, overcome the resistance induced by, a, let's say, a dirty anti-angiogenic drug, because sunitinib is, sunitinib is a drug that blocks several pathways. But we also, we uh, observed the symmetry is able to overcome the resistance induced by uh, an, an inhibitor of VEGF specific pathway. It's an antibody that blocks VGL sector 2, DC101. And again, what we observe that these, uh, the, uh, DC101, by inhibiting this pathway, is increasing the tumor invasiveness, metastasis formation. But again, the treatment of symmetry alone, or the combination, with this, uh, dr uh, with this drug is able to overcome the resistance. So this was the first uh, evidence that somehow symmetry can really be used to avoid this resistance uh, to inhibiting angiogenesis, but hopefully uh, normalize tumor vasculature. And what we observe to uh, go more in detail in the mechanism, uh, several mechanisms be proposed so far uh, that can uh, mediate this resistance of an anti angiogenic drug. In particular, uh, tumor hypoxia is one of the uh, most studied effects. It's also logic to uh, figure out that if you dramatically reduce vasculature in a tumor, you can increase tumor hypoxia. But it's already been shown how tumor hypoxia can enhance several genes that, that are pro-metastatic and pro-invasive in the tumor. Uh, it's already been described also that uh, also a recruitment of bone marrow derived cells, inflammatory cells, can contribute to the resistance to the, this therapy. So we check, first of all, uh, the va vasculature in our treat mice. And what we found uh, that uh, checking the parasite coverage, uh, the perfusion of the, the vessels and the permeability, that uh, as we expect, uh, the single treatment of symmetry was improving the function of these vessels compared to control. But again, the combination with sunitinib, sunitinib, as you can see here, was dramatically decreasing the parasite coverage and the function of this vessel. And the combination was uh, uh, driving back in a more functional vessel uh, this tumor. Uh, one of the reasons why 
uh, in clinic, uh, the anti-angiogenic therapy is used uh, along with the chemotherapeutic drugs because the idea is that if you can uh, have this normalization window, the vessels are more functional, so can deliver better the drugs to the tumor. And this was the case. Uh, we um, uh, treat, we uh, deliver uh, doxorubicin, a chemotherapy in the tumor, uh, and what we observed that uh, simultaneously uh, some administration, symmetry A, to the tumor, all with sunitin, all alone, was dramatically increasing the uh, presence of doxorubicin in tumor, suggesting that the improved function of the vessel uh, was uh, resulting in a better delivery of the drug. This is very important, the clinical point of view. Uh, what we observed, uh, indeed, uh, what it does, symmetry is reducing tumor hypoxia. You can see uh, symmetry reduced the hypoxia in due, uh, 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 symmetry reduced the basal epoxy as compared to control, and also the epoxy induced by uh, sunitinib. Uh, we check several genes that are upregulated by uh, hypoxia. For example, if one alpha or carbonic anhydrase 9 are upregulated by hypoxia and therefore by sunitinib, but they completely switch off by the treatment of CIMA 3A. We uh, perform a several gene screening of the differential expression of uh, genes after the treatment with symmetry. What we found that uh, the treatment of symmetry dramatically was changing EMT genes. EMT is an epithelial mesenchymal transition involving the invasion of the tumor. And what we found that uh, symmetry was able to increase more epithelial marker and decrease uh, uh, mesenchymal marker like vimentin. Vimentin has been observed upregulating very invasive tumor. And also by checking other EMT genes, what we found that uh, CIMA3 actually it was inhibiting other uh, genes uh, discovered to be, be very important in inducing uh, metastasis, like SNEL1 and Cadirin and FKB. In all these cases, correlated with the reduction of hypoxia, we found a reduction of the expression of these genes. So in summary, okay, this is the, uh, uh, another uh, point I want to stress. Among all the genes that we check, uh, since MET, MET is an oncogene that induces an a invasive metastatic phenotype in tumor, and they've been shown how MET is upregulated by hypoxia, by if one alpha. <laughs> And what we observed, the, the treatment of cima 3 was dramatically uh, capable to reduce the both the expression and the activation, the phosphorylation of MET, both in tumor and vessels. And somehow suggesting that this uh, reduction of hypoxia induced by vessel normalization by cima 3 was decreasing uh, MET activation in the tumor. To summarize this part, what we uh, show you so far is that symmetry by improving the vascular chain tumor is increasing the oxygen level, somehow lessening several hypoxia regulated signal pathways that support tumor invasion. The consequence is that symmetry is able to drive back from a prometastatic tumor to a benign phenotype uh, tumor treated with an antigenic compound, so improving this uh, therapy. And uh, we can suggest that symmetry can be considered as a new uh, approach to inhibit angiogenesis. You don't have to uh, take out all the vessels from the tumor. You have to normalize the vessels and decrease in this way uh, tumor growth. So uh, right now, uh, our work is focusing in the better prove assess symmetry as a normal normalizing agent to reduce metastasis. And also the other part of the project are focusing in understanding better the mechanism of symmetry A normalization. In a therapeutic point, point of view, we uh, check the effect of symmetry in a more deadly uh, pancreatic, pancreatic cancer. It's pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma. This is um, uh, very deadly uh, malignancy induced by a mutation of several oncogenes like KRAS or oncosuppressor like P53 and P16. And what uh, Federica developed in the lab is an orthotopic mouse model of DAC. Uh, these cell lines are uh, lacking of this oncosuppressor P16 are injected directly in the pancreas. And uh, these mice develop in uh, a time frame of five, six weeks, an uh, invasive tumor and develop metastasis to the liver. So it's a suitable model to test the efficacy of symmetry in, uh, in inducing a reduction of metastasis formation. It also uh, can better recapitulate the, uh, the contribution of microenvironment in this effect. 
Uh, these are data that uh, we collect so far, and uh, we were, um, first of all, happy that we were able to overexpress with the AV8, the CMATRA in the PDAC tumors as well as RIPTEC mice. And uh, um, what we found that, uh, the, uh, as we observed in RIPTEC mice, CMATRA was able to reduce the primary tumor, but more da dramatically, you can see here, reducing the incidence of liver metastasis. Then we check the vasculature. Uh, these, uh, uh, the vasculature in this model is very different from RIPTEG. They have not many vessels, but uh, basically the parasites are almost absent. After the treatment of symmetry, we saw uh, a really an increase of parasite coverage and increase of parasite content. And uh, um, to check whether really uh, this uh, was improving the function of the, of the vessels, also in this model, we, uh, in the context to uh, push in the clinic, the idea that CMATRA can increase the efficacy, for example, of chemotherapeutic drug, we perform a, a combinatorial trials by using gemcitabine. And, and um, what we found, the CMATRA synergized with the gemcitabine to reduce tumor volume and uh, incidence of liver metastasis. Uh, as you can see here, the combination of gemcitabine with the uh, CMATRA was uh, better capable to reduce the liver metastasis compared to the single treatment. To be known, the symmetry alone is already have a potent anti-metastatic effect. Um, these data suggest that uh, the vessel normalization in PDAC tumors is very important because one of the big problems right now in the clinic is that is, these tumors are very difficult to treat because the, all the drugs used so far very difficult to reach the tumor. Uh, we somehow would uh, show a way to improve the delivery, the uptake of this drug in the tumors. And uh, uh, again, when we checked the hypoxia, Symmetra was strongly able to reduce tumor hypoxia as compared to controlling these mice. And, and then, uh, okay, this is, okay. <coughs> Okay, and, and then, uh, as observed uh, in RIPTEC mice, also MET was modulating by, uh, in this model, was modulated uh, by symmetry. Here is the phosphorylation of MET in tumor cells, and to a lesser extent in the vasculature in this model. But you can see here how symmetry strongly uh, reduced the activation of this pathway this prometastatic pathway. And now uh, we are currently investigation, investigating uh, the, uh, the modulation of other hypoxin-driven genes and also uh, the um, differential expression of uh, plexins that are receptors that transduce the signal of symmetry A upon the treatment of symmetry in this tumor because it's been shown how different plexins can transduce in different way the signal of symmetry A, both in endothelial cells and uh, in tumor. In the second part, to better understand the mechanism of vessel normalization, uh, lately it's been okay. Sorry, okay, uh, been already described several proposed mechanisms of uh, this complex interrelationship between tumor cells, endothelial cells, and parasites, and also the um, the interrelationship between uh, bone marrow derived cells, inflammatory cells, and also tumor associated, micro tumor -associated macrophages. In red are all factors, in particular VGFA, that induce a, a vas vasculature abnormalization. And in blue are all the uh, molecules that have been described so far that can induce a vessel maturation, vessel normalization. For example, angiopoietin 1 expressed by parasites or PDGFB expressed by endothelial cells. And lately, as we uh, show uh, almost uh, three years ago, symmetry is a normalizing agent. To better understand, for example, how symmetry can uh, regulate the uh, interrelationship between uh, endothelial cells and parasites, uh, we start from uh, two main observations. One important thing, the symmetry can exert a dual effect. While uh, in, in is, uh, uh, it is it, uh, symmetry inhibit the migration of endothelial cells, at the same time is pro induce the migration of uh, parasites. Uh, and uh, what we observe in tumors, af in RIPTEC tumors, after the treatment of symmetry, you can see here that parasites protect in tumor endothelial cells from a tree symmetry induced apoptosis. You can see here in yellow are all the apoptotic vessels that are not covered by parasites. And in blue, all the vessels covered by parasites uh, do not uh, go undergo in apoptosis. 
somehow the peristyles exert this protective effect on endothelial cells. First of all, we uh, confirm uh, that the endogenous symmetry A uh, produced by endothelial cells uh, themselves are uh, capable to attract the parasites to the vasculature. Uh, we perform a, a migration assay of parasites that were migrating toward a monolayer or endothelial cells or a recombinant symmetry A. In both cases, you can see that uh, the semaphores or endo the semaphores produced by endothelial cells are able to enhance the uh, parasite migration. And uh, we confirm this because we, if you use silence, uh, silence uh, symmetry in endothelial cells, you abrogate this uh, uh, symmetry-induced uh, migration. So we set up a, a uh, in vitro um, endothelial cell parasite co-culture. Uh, uh, basically what we found, we, we, Federica did, is to plate, uh, make grow uh, uh, parasites or monolayer endothelial cells. And then we found a way to purify by fact sorting these cells uh, after they been, been in contact. Uh, with the hope to dissect the molecular mechanism of the interaction between endothelial cells and parasites. And first of all, we, we observe that indeed, these are endothelial cells grow alone, the symmetry was inducing apoptosis, but then in the co-culture when the parasites are grown uh, on the endothelial cells, the parasites, they protect also in vitro, uh, the apoptosis induced by uh, symmetry. Then we uh, went a little bit forward to see which are the mechanisms, in particular, which are the receptor that are modulating this interaction between endothelial cells and parasites. And we were surprised when we checked neuropili one. And you can see here neuropili one is abundant, is uh, highly expressed in endothelial cells grow alone in parasites, even though with a different localization uh, in the cells. But then in the co-culture, you can see the neuropili one is down modulated. And this was, uh, uh, confirm when we um, did our co-culture system, we purified by fact sorting the, uh, the cell population. You can see here why if neuropili one is expressed in both <coughs> parasites in UX, but when you put them to grow together, you uh, purify them from the co-culture, neuropili one disappear. And uh, um, we uh, uh, sought to investigate whether this down modulation neuropili one somehow was uh, correlated with uh, the expression of some of the already known protein or molecule that can normalize the vasculature, can induce a maturation of the vasculature, such as angiopoietin 1 or PDGFP. And what we found, that the uh, inhibition of neuropilin 1, both in parasites and in UVEC, were able to strongly increase the production uh, of these two angiopoietin 1 and PGFB uh, normalizing uh, agent. And this was the same increase of uh, uh, angiopoietin and PGFB we observe when we check in the sarnatan of the uh, co culture cell. And then uh, another important piece of uh, data that uh, somehow can try to describe the complex mechanism of uh, the uh, modulation symmetry A in uh, uh, vessel normalization, we uh, assessed uh, that the endogenous symmetry A is able to increase uh, or contribute the production of PDGFB uh, from endothelial cells capable to attract parasites. In fact, when you silence symmetry in the UVEC, they are not anymore capable to produce PDGFB. And then, as you uh, recall, when I showed you before, upon the treatment of RIPTEC mice, also observed in PDAC model, we found the symmetry was able to uh, reduce MET activation. Uh, the main explanation was the reduced hypoxia was reducing MET activation. But we were asking whether somehow symmetry A was directly uh, affecting MET phosphorylation in endothelial cells uh, or with several mechanisms. And, uh, um, so, uh, just to summarize this, uh, let's say, possible mechanism of uh, vessel normalization, the interrelationship between uh, endothelial cells and pericytes. Pericytes and endothelial cells both uh, express neuropili 1. Uh, symmetry A is produced by uh, endothelial cells can induce, uh, attract the pericytes to the vessels. And these, uh, uh, both vessel pericytes down model in neuropili 1. In this way, you have an increase of the expression of PDGFB and uh, angiopoietin 1. And also, uh, for mechanism to still to see whether symmetry direct or not, here being met or through the down modulation neuropili 1, 
the inhibition of PMET contribute together to endothelial cell stabilization. Of course, uh, here we didn't check. We have to check, for example, the contribution of plexins. Uh, plexins are all uh, different receptor that can mediate in different way the, the signal of symmetry A and also of the other uh, semaphorins. And uh, finally, uh, another important uh, Okay, okay, I just forget this. It is a very uh, preliminary data, just uh, uh, Federica gave me a few days ago. And uh, um, this uh, down modulation neuropenic ones is not only true in vitro, but uh, we have two very different situations. Riptek mice, uh, in the tumor, basically neuropenic one is mostly expressed in, ves in vessels. In that model, Neuropenic one is expressed both in vessel and tumor cells. But what we found after the three minute symmetry, you can see here there is a strong down modulation of neuropenic one in vasculature, in the tumor vasculature, suggesting that uh, kind of some of the mechanisms that I showed you before in vitro can be also uh, true in vivo. Very more complex can be uh, the situation where you have also neuropenic one expressed in the tumor cells. And, uh, but the very interesting part, that both the imp duct model and also in other tumor types, being shown how the down modulation of neuropenic one uh, is able to inhibit, for example, the activation of MET in vivo, reduce the metastasis formation. There can be a mechanism by which, for example, symmetry A can mediate with this reduced uh, invasion and metastasis formation upon the treatment. Okay, just to uh, the last few minutes. Uh, uh, another important thing that so far what I has described here the effect of symmetry A on the vasculature, but of course the tumor is a com uh, the tumor microenvironment. Um, in the tumor microenvironment, there are several other tumor types. Uh, I, as I told you before, uh, tumor say macrophages, but also inflammatory cells. And um, and we were asking whether semaphorin were also modulating other uh, cell population, tumor uh, cell population uh, in the microenvironment. It's already been shown how this is a very complex um, uh, scheme, but that's I wanted to point it out that uh, basically in tumor, this enrichment of these N2 tumor assaulting macrophages. The macrophages basically uh, they do they promote uh, angiogenesis, they promote metastasis, and uh, usually. Uh, uh, M1, like macrophages, have a more anti-tumor, anti-agenic uh, phenotype. It's already been described how the switch, the <coughs> the switch from a M2 versus a M1 uh, phenotype uh, in tumors contribute to vas vascular normalization. There's already data that suggests that, uh, let's say, normalizing also uh, the macrophages, you can have a normalized vasculature. So we ask uh, whether symmetry A induced vessel normalization can be mediated at least in part by inflammatory cells. And this data uh, came uh, first of all from uh, um, Mauro's group that already in 2008, uh, they were the first describing that symmetry A uh, was able to promote vessel, uh, promote vessel maturation in physiological condition by recruiting a monocyte uh, cell population expressed in neuropenin 1. And then uh, they move <coughs> forward in a more uh, pathological uh, setting. It's a paper that uh, you already know is uh, uh, impressed in cancer research. Very interesting. They found uh, that uh, uh, you can really um, assess that symmetry in tumor can recruit these uh, cause names are uh, neuropenin positive, C level B positive, GR1 negative, type 2 negative population is like more a M1 uh, phenotype that uh, have an anti-tumor and pro-normalizing uh, effect. And uh, they, uh, they try several um, tumor types. It is an example how you can take this name recruited by symmetry A injecting the tumor, and they, this name have an anti-tumor effect. And also by checking the tumor after the treatment with NEM, you can see an increase of tumor vessel normalization. Uh, uh, to prof profiling uh, uh, the, uh, this NEM, they found that uh, basically what they express is a lot of the molecule that can normalize in the vasculature, and also they have an M1-like uh, phenotype. Also very interesting, uh, uh, being able to purify this NEM population from bone marrow. And uh, this NEM uh, purified uh, subpopulation is able to retain this tumor uh, inhibition tumor growth or normalization. In collaboration with uh, 
with them, what we uh, uh, tried to see whether uh, somehow also NEM were uh, involved in the effect that we are observing our spontaneous mass model of cancer. And what we see that uh, is these. So basically, uh, um, rectic tumors, uh, but also we observe a similar, uh, similar, more profound effect in, uh, in cervical model. I don't have the slide with me. Uh, here's our rectic mice. Usually, uh, the infiltration, the inflammatory cells in the rectic tumor in control and three tumor are basically TAM, tumor assay macrophages with a, with a M2 pro-tumor effect. And then after the treatment with symmetry, we found an enrichment of this, uh, uh, let's call, NEM um, population uh, as compared in, as, uh, with a, a proportion that is increased as compared to the uh, M2 uh, macrophages. Um, uh, what interesting we found that we take this uh, NEM, uh, we inject uh, the RIPTEC as we did, similar to what we did with the AVA symmetry, where we found a, a very significant reduction in tumor volume. And more interestingly, we found that the increase of survival, uh, similar to what we observe when we treat, uh, uh, we just overexpress symmetry A in tumors, somehow suggesting that part of the mechanism of normalization can be mediated by this recruitment of NEM in this tumor. And again, uh, these NEM were really able to normalize the vasculature. You can see here the control mice and stage tumors, they have parasites, but not really covering the best vasculature. You can see here a more normalized uh, phenotype with a very highly covered vessel by parasites, and uh, these after the treatment uh, with, uh, uh, with uh, this subpopulation NEM. And now, uh, what we are planning to do is a more wide screening. Just we have set up, Federica set up a, a way to fax sort in the cell population uh, of the tumor microenvironment of the mouse model that we have. Basically, we are able to uh, purify endothelial cells, uh, pericytes, inflammatory cells from in vivo from tumors. And uh, the, our idea is to uh, purify these cells from tumors control or treat by symmetry and to uh, perform a more deep. Uh, uh, gene expression analysis with the Lumina platform present in our institute to analyze whether there are, there are also a mirna, uh, micro RNA signature of the difference of micro, micro RNA expression after the uh, um, treatment with symmetry. And also in collaboration with the Sarazani and the Bitson Institute, we are uh, going to assess the phosphoproteomic profiling of this tumor treated with uh, symmetrase compared uh, to control. So just I wanted to conclude to uh, thank uh, the people, uh, my small lab, but of course uh, most the, the work I described today is made by Federica Maione, internal collaboration in the Institute with Guido Serini and Federico Bussolino, and uh, also uh, of course the collaboration with Mauro, with Doug Hanan, they provide us, we are collaborating with him in all the contests of uh, pancreatic data adenocarcinoma, uh, and Oreo Casanovas uh, um, provide me the antibody against VG receptor 2, the DC101 drug, to assess the effect of symmetry A, specifically inhibiting the P, uh, VEGF uh, pathway. These are the funding that uh, support our research. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>